We look at risk profile uh, and tolerance for risk. Mm -hmm. And what we're not looking for is a blind tolerance for risk. What we're looking for is a thoughtful and pragmatic tolerance for risk. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, there are a number of things that help you identify that, but it, a lot of it has to do with how people think uh, and think about sort of the consequences of the decisions that they're, they're typically faced with. So can you give me an example of that? All right. Oh, God, there are so many examples of that. But, you know, if you look at, um, I'll use a controversial example, which is Travis mm -hmm. uh, at Uber, right? Mm -hmm. So part of the success of Uber was a uh, philosophical decision to not ask for permission, but ask for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. um, it ruffled a lot of feathers. It right. created a lot of trouble. Also um, created a whole industry. And built an entire industry. Now, in their case, I think they've done a, a, a very good job of it, but there's been a, a lot of cleanup that's happened over the past year as Dara has come on board uh, mm -hmm. and taken on the reins to sort of take the company into a m more mature stance as an organization. Uh, if you look at the business of scooters, electronic scooters, mm -hmm. uh, and in California they are everywhere littering the streets, um, they, you know, did not do uh, as good a job so far mm -hmm. at figuring out how to balance doing what they thought was right for the business and building the right relationships with the municipalities uh, in, under whose jurisdiction they operate. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's created quite a bit of backlash recently. Um, and so far, I don't think that they've done as successful a job of uh, finding ways to work constructively, particularly the early movers.